This is how you add a wash behind a block of content. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay. First thing you do, you see my layers over here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this layer, it will come up just as normal. Mm -hmm. But if you have normal, so normal will just block it out. Yeah, it'll, right. Right. But if you change this little filter thing to multiply. <gasps> Shut the front door. That is so cool. It's so easy. I did not know how to do that. That's amazing. That's it's amazing. It's totally easy. All my stuff. I mean, I can't tell you. Okay. From now on, when you see my charts that have that effect, you'll be like, yep, I did that. I showed him how to do that. That's awesome. It's fine with it. That is so cool. All right. right. And so, and then especially like you go up to like 400 pixel brush. This is just mm -hmm. a basic brush. You can get like big, big areas just like yeah. that. And what, then, are you drawing, what are you drawing on right now? Like do oh, you have a Cintiq or? No, just oh, a your mouse. Okay. All right. Very crude. I mean, I'm like a super crude digital chick. Then what you can do is here, like, let's say you want to make certain things pop forward like this, mm -hmm. you're with quick selection tool W, highlight the things that you want to sort of preserve or protect. Mm -hmm. Oops, not that one. Let's say we want to do bring all of these forward. Yeah, you just sort of highlight the things that you and then you go back to your layer and just delete and delete. And then there it's crazy. Yeah, and then That's you could even cool. go back into this with words, you know, and then it, it's like more text, especially if you have your own handwriting. I can't call it a font because Heather will get mad at me. Yeah, typeface um, is okay. Yeah, your own typeface or whatever, yeah. And then you can... Um... You ever think about selling your typeface? No way. All right. <laughs> no way. Like the one thing I have, I have like my is my Expo font handwriting. It is so cool. You have you have an amazing handwriting. Oh, so here where you say climate si simulation, that's what I did. I did a wash and then I did the font on top. Yeah. How'd you make your own font? I've tried a few times and oh, I just haven't like been happy with font. the huh? Freefont.com. Oh, I wasn't happy with that. I wasn't happy with the results, but well, I, I mean, try. then I space it out. I mean, yeah, it's not great. Okay. But again, I'm like low common denominator solutions, you know. Do you want to see how I clean up charts? Like, Yeah, I want to see how you clean up charts, sure. <laughs> All, right. All right, this is from 2012. Okay. But this is a good a good thing to practice with. Okay, so here you go. Mm -hmm. Typical situation where lighting was terrible and I used a light, I used a light marker to try to highlight things, which is always a mistake. Right, I spell it. You're gonna love this. Okay. All right, so I like, you know, more or less crop into my thing. Okay. Um, and then I also do like transform. I'll get it, you know, ah. pretty close to the thing. Okay, fine. Then I do the control M, which is curves. Mm -hmm. And I pick up the white. Mm -hmm. And I go to the center. And I do the white. And then I pick up the black and I go to the center black and I pick up a black. Mm -hmm. That's the first pass. Yep. Then yep. I, again, I use the wand tool or like the quick selection tool and I select areas like this. Yep. And then make sure it's all selected. And then I go to select color range Wow. And I do just 100 and I pick the white mm -hmm. and that's the, all the white. And then again, I do the white. So it's like a crisper white. See how it went crisper? Yeah. yeah. And then I just do that, you know, sort wow. of sec section by section. And uh -huh. sometimes they're wide washes and sometimes it gets a little finicky, but I'll just show you. Then you do color range, white. See, in this case, it picked up all the it, it other, did. Yeah. But, but in my mind, probably I would eliminate all of that and do a wash anyway. So uh -huh. but you'll see. And then you just go to the white, the white. And I just proceed around. So uh -huh. like, this one's kind of, this one's kind of organic, but I would, um, you know, sometimes it's as simple as this where you just do. That's like really cool. Yeah. And 
it can be very fast. But then I spend a lot of time on, and then the erase, I just go around the edges, yep. like quick, you know, boom, boom. The, when I have things like this running through, yeah. the joins, same. I just go with a smaller eraser and I go like really fine in mm -hmm. and just do that. And so that's pretty much it. That's cool. Um, black right. is even better. Mm -hmm. This was 2014. Again, I crop it in just because for my own sanity. Actually, can I ask you to do, do one thing? Can you go back a step? Yeah. Do you know about perspective crop? No, but that's okay. I'm just going to show you this thing for now. All I right. don't need to learn anything tonight. because Okay, fine. I'll be too tired. <laughs> tired to learn anything new. How about that? For boundaries is like, no, thank you. Good. That's good. But I'll look it up when I, I'll look it up tomorrow when I, so here it's the same. It's control M uh -huh. and I go on the darkest part and then the white tool and I'll pick up what I try to see is the whitest part like that. Mm -hmm. well, yep. It might be too much. Well, no, that's pretty good. No, that's good. But here I was using all kinds of pinks and things. Um, and then um, select color range here. Mm -hmm. M, black, black, done. Cool. That's awesome. Thank you. And you then if I want to do washes on black, what I do is this, select color range black. Mm-hmm. And then I invert it. So I have all of the white yep. copy and paste. So I have a layer of the lettering basically on top of the lettering. Mm -hmm. Right? No, I get it. So then I can go in and do a new layer here. In between them. Mm -hmm. Do my, I don't even do a multiply on black. Right. This is just normal. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like pick up a color here. Yep. Um, and then same like it's yeah. light, but then I would kick it down and then you have nice. Yeah, so you can see it. That's amazing. That's really cool. Thank you for that. Sure, there you go. Oh, maybe I'll try some of that on this. Why not? 